Well, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's gonna be a long day. Uh, don't look at the dirty bed, but uh, we're putting in a new air conditioner. Yeah, the other one. Thought it had blown up, and come to find out it was just a minor fix, but we have bought a brand new Dometic 15,000 BTU. And I've got Jerry out here. He's on the roof now, I believe. Yeah, he's up there now. We've already got the other unit off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, have it fixed. It was just where the manufacturer had sorted on our, our what you call sweat. Uh, you sweat lines when it's copper. They had sorted the line on like a T so they could charge the unit. And then when they get through, they just pinch it off and then take uh, their machine off. Well, <laughs> they didn't sort it shut. And that thing where they flattened that too, just opened up and let all the freon out. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and have it repaired. Uh, it, I did buy one that's bigger, more BTU. Uh, like I said, we do have a mess and we're working it hard today. I know the wind's blowing a little bit, but I'm fixing to start off here while we're out here working since we got a nice sunny day. You'll notice I put a black cloth on here on this table, but I've got my new Solarvor oven. Uh, right now, it's at uh, about 210 in there. Uh, the sun's not really good and high, but you can see the shadow. I need to turn it, but I'm going to make some uh, pot roast and... Uh, that's going to be really good. We're going to do beef and pork and should take it maybe four to six hours to cook like it would in a crock pot or something. And we're going to work while we uh, let it cook. And then also my thing, I told you guys about uh, my solar panels several months ago. Could not figure out where I wanted to put them. Did not want to put them uh, on my RV and drill holes in the top of my RV. So this is what I came up with. I've mounted them on top of my luggage rack and I have them where they're adjustable. I'll show you uh, some pictures that I've got. I'll throw them on the screen so you guys can see that. So we've really got a lot of stuff going. And also, I've got a toilet leaking again. I've got to go back in there and redo that and figure it out before it damages anything because, boy, water can really tear up a, an RV. So uh, anyway, I'll get back uh, with you here just in a few minutes when I start putting the stuff in the solar oven and uh, get it ready to go. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys, this, this solar bar is just, it's unbelievable. It really is nice. I'll have several videos on it, but for right now, I just wanted to do a quick thing about it. I've also got a couple of flashlights that I've got to do some reviews on, but like I say, it's finally gotten to where I'm feeling better. Jerry's available, and uh, these things have got to be done. We were going to go to Michigan, but I couldn't find a place to stay because of the Memorial Day weekend. I had forgot all about it. So uh, we're just going to do the repairs we need to do here and uh, get things done, and then, uh, like I say, I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Well, okay, guys, if you want to know something that's really upsetting of course we got the new air conditioner that's the one right up there on the front right up on top and here's the old one and uh i knew it blew a line or something because uh freon came out all of it but come to find out if you can believe this don't squirt me jerry if you can help it i said i searched the line and i searched the line and could not find a hole anywhere and right here see this this is where the manufacturer actually fills and charges the line when they pull a vacuum on this thing. All they did was pinch it off, snap it off, and take their line off, and they did not sort of this shut. And you can see it opened up like a little mouth. All I had to do was pinch that, sort it, and then take and put me on a uh, little saddle valve and recharge this thing, and I would have had an air conditioner. <laughs> and this air conditioner is only one year old. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do, it's summertime. Um, I've got a new one up there. Uh, that one up there, matter of fact, is a 15,000 BTU, one of the new Dometics. And uh, it seems to be really nice. It is cool in that RV right now. It's about oh, almost 80 out here. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this, repair it. I've got to take my truck for repairs uh, this next week. And the buddy of mine, he has a way to pull a vacuum and charge this thing. And being summertime, I'm sure there's someone out there that's got a camper that would like to have a nice unit that uh, the manufacturer just they just they just dropped the ball on that they should have put um, some sorter on there and this is a Coleman so uh, if you ever go to buy a Coleman tell a guy to take the cover off and you want to see it and see if they sorted that shut because you know pennies worth of sorter would have, would have solved this problem and also back to the solar oven solivor Man, this is a nice solar oven. I will put a link down below. Uh, right now, it looks like, if I can see in there, I don't know if you can or not, uh, 
225 degrees. Uh, I warmed it up earlier, let it sit out here for 30 minutes in the sun. It got up to 300, but I did just put the pots in there. So that's, uh, you know, I've lost some temperature there. And, uh, and the meat, of course, is not warm yet. So it's been going now for about 30 minutes. I figure, I'm figuring four to maybe six hours. Um, beef roast, pot roast, and I'm going to have to open it again later and add some potatoes. I just didn't want them to be in there that long and overcook the carrots and potatoes. Okay, Jerry's going in. He's working on the toilet. I, I had bought a valve, but what I want to show you here on this uh, Solivore Sport is that, see the shadow? Well, watch this. You can kind of turn this. Maybe I can do it. And you can see how this is rotating and now this corner looks like this corner and that's because it's casting a shadow from up here to here as you can see maybe down in the shadow from here to here so I watch this and as the Sun moves that shadow is going to move but that keeps me going direct and I know I'm having direct sunlight let's see what the temperature is in here now right now we're at a uh, little over 250 so we're cooking good, just like you would in a crock pot. We've got quite a mess in here because we've been working. All right, so this is uh, this is the valve I'm replacing, and uh, it had a leak before, but this time uh, it's leaking again. So I'd fixed the other one, but this time we're going to replace the whole thing. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but that's that's what we're doing. Yeah, you go. Now you, I know you're loose now. You can kind of wiggle it past the line and then get that line off there. Maybe hard. It's been uh, two hours now, and as you can see, I've got some condensation building up here, so that means the food is cooking. The temperature is at about 270 right now. Uh, the wind's blowing some out here today, so I'm fixing to get the potatoes. I'm going to put the potatoes in the pork roast side, and then uh, and carrots, and then the beef side. I'm going to leave leave by itself. Okay, this is the first time I've lifted the lid in two hours, so let's see what we got. I know we're going to lose a lot of heat now, and it's going to cool off because the potatoes and the carrots just came out of the fridge a few minutes ago. They warmed up a little bit, but not quite enough. Woo, yeah, that's hot. Golly, I felt the heat come rushing out of there. Man. Okay, oh, it smells good. Golly molly. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Woo, man, I felt the heat come rushing out of there. Okay, let's see what we got. And there is the pork cooking nicely. Warm. Dump that in there. Baby carrots. Yeah, let's shake it some more here. Yeah, we'll do about. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Now then, let me get the lid back on this thing. Like I say we're not cooking a big, big batch of this. Just a half of a small roast of pork and a half of a small roast of beef. And I'm going to add some brown gravy uh, when this gets close to the ends. So there we go. I am just tickled to death, and uh, it's down to 225 just by lifting that up right then. So it's it's staying hot in there. Okay, guys, what I've done here now is I've taken the lid loose, and uh, going to check out the beef. Oh, look at that! It's just all crumbling up. Yeah. So what we're going to do with the beef? And this does draw flies, apparently, because it smells good. It even drew my dog. So I'm going to crack this open real quick, and I'm going to pour in some instant gravy. Some of that kind you have the mix with. Do this. Stir it up really good. Stir it around. Close it up. And you can see what the pork looks like. Golly molly. Yeah, it's just falling apart. Look at that. Yeah. So this, this is just about done. I'm going to go ahead and let the gravy set. I'll give it time to thicken up. Give it about another, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, we should be eating well. Is that the one you're going to eat? That's the beef, yeah. Mm -hmm. This all just looks awesome.